Hello everyone, my name is Julia and I'm going to be guiding you through a vinyasa flow for mindfulness today. So go ahead and get started in a seated position on your mat. And we'll settle in there. So if you would like to start cross-legged or legs out or even on your back if you disagree with me, that is totally fine. Just go ahead and find a comfortable position. Allowing the eyes to come closed. Beginning with this short meditation to tune our awareness inward and to become grounded in this present moment. Mindfulness is all about fully enjoying the present moment and being fully there, being fully present in the moment. And we can do this by noticing the things that are happening right now around you. Beginning to notice the way the mat or the floor feels underneath you as we root down into the sit bones, settle into that connection. We move on to the sensation of seeing. With the eyes closed, just noticing any sort of colors or light behind the eyelids. If your eyes are open, if you prefer to meditate with open eyes, you maybe are focusing all of your awareness on one object or one thing. And then after a while, you begin to notice that everything around that focal point begins to blur. We move on to the sensation of sound. Hearing the sound of this video any other sounds that are happening in the space that you're in, sounds that are happening outside of the space that you're in, any birds or animals or cars, simply noticing these things without becoming attached to them or attaching any feeling to them, but noticing them and, and then noticing when they're over, when it's done, and going on to the next thing. Noticing any smells. Maybe you use an essential oil or maybe you have a candle going. Maybe there are smells around you that are more unpleasant, but still noticing. Noticing any sort of taste in the mouth. Just let the tongue fall from the roof of the mouth. Let the jaw relax. Simply noticing without judgment. Perhaps the best way we can anchor ourselves into the present moment is through controlled breathing exercises, which in yoga we refer to these as pranayama. And in a vinyasa class, we tend to take a, a breath called ujjayi breath, where on the inhale we fill up the lower belly, filling into the rib cage all the way up into the chest and throat. And on the exhale, it creates a sound. And then we can use that sound as a focal point, as a thing that keeps us present, a sensation that can fill the whole room that you're in. 
And so maybe you begin to slide into that ujjayi breath. We do it by constricting the muscles in the back of the throat on the exhale. And then begin to lengthen that breath. Continuing to notice the sensations, all the things that are happening within you and around you. Also focusing on that breath, realizing that when we take a step back, when we find some stillness, we can notice all the little things and we can gain a deeper appreciation of those little things. Continuing to breathe here. And when you're ready, you can wiggle the fingers, maybe brush the fingertips along the thumb, feeling that sensation. Maybe you tap one fingertip to the thumb at a time. Just finding a mindful movement as we awaken. And then you can blink the eyes open if you would like to, or feel free to keep them closed. Then inhale, circling the arms around and up to the sky, gathering all of that energy around you, meeting the palms together at the top, and then exhaling to bring the hands down through heart center where the thumbs connect to the sternum. We bow the chin to set our intention for this practice today. So maybe your intention is just to find a little more mindfulness in your day. Maybe your intention is bigger than that, or maybe your intention will find you as we go along. And once you've established that intention, go ahead and bring your arms back down to your sides. We'll inhale to sweep the arms back around and up. On an exhale, take a side bend to the right. So we lower the right fingertips down towards the earth and lengthen through the left side body as the left fingertips reach straight up. Maybe we walk the right fingertips out a little bit. Maybe we even lower the forearm down onto the mat or maybe onto a pillow. Spiraling the heart open. Inhale to lift the right hand back up to the sky. Exhale to lower that left hand down to the earth. Stretching into that right side body. Taking any adjustments here to deepen into the stretch or to maybe ease off of the stretch. Always listening to your body and your breath. Inhale to lift the left hand back up to the sky. On an exhale, dropping the hands behind us so that the fingertips point forwards towards the knees. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders and then inhale to maybe lift the hips up towards the sky. If that's not available in your practice today, maybe you just bring the hands to your hips and open up the heart, let the head hang back. So finding your variation, breathing into it. Exhale as we sink the hips back down to the earth, come back through center. Inhale as we lift the arms up to the sky and exhale as we fold forward. Maybe we just walk the hands out in front of us sinking in for a moment in breathing and so remembering that our breath is our guide it's our tool to keep us present slowly walking the hands back towards the body inhale circle the arms up and let's switch our top leg so if your right leg was underneath before now it's on top just changing the way that we sit cross-legged to 
reach different muscles, and then on an exhale, walking the hands forward, finding balance. Going just as far as it's available. We haven't really warmed up yet, so the body is still cool. So let go of expectations that you think you should be going further because maybe you have before. Remembering that this is a new experience. Gently walking the hands back towards the body. Let's make our way to hands and knees, a position of all fours. Get there in any way that makes sense to you. Taking the time to set up your stance, stacking shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees, and then we'll go ahead and move through some cat cows. Inhaling as we lift the chin, open the chest, lift up through the tailbone. Exhaling to lift the mid back, tuck the chin into the chest and rotate the tailbone underneath. And then taking these with the pace of our own breath, as fast or slow as that is in this moment. Remembering that as we go through our vinyasa practice, vinyasa actually means to connect a breath with movement. So for every movement we make, there is either an inhale or an exhale occurring. And a simple rule of thumb that you might like to think about is inhales tend to lift, exhales tend to lower. And what happens when we sync our movement with our breath is that we automatically establish a connection between the mind and body. We automatically stay present in the moment. Continue to move through your cat cows at your own pace. Feel free to add any other variations or natural movements that feel good here. And that they don't have to look like my cat cows, they can look like whatever they need to. Whatever feels right. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead and sit back in child's pose. Bring the big toes together to touch, sit the hips back. Walking the hands out in front and maybe we rest the forehead down against the earth. Remembering that child's pose is always a great option during our practice. If you ever need to take a step back, come back to your intention, come back to the present moment and breathe. Even if you just stayed here this whole practice, listened to the video and just stayed in child's pose the whole time, you'd still be doing yoga. And it's enough. When you're ready, rocking the shoulders forward so that they stack above the fingertips, bringing the knees inward slightly so that they're about hips width apart, tops of the feet pressed down against the mat in a kneeling plank position. Exhaling as we bend the elbows, hugging them in towards the rib cage, lowering all the way onto the belly. Maybe we move the hands back so that they're underneath the elbows. And then on an inhale, lift the chest, reach forward through the crown of the head, pinch the shoulder blades together, relax through the glutes and the legs for cobra. Feeling the muscles in the back activate. The heart gently opens. And on an exhale, sinking the chest back down to the mat, planting the hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide. Inhale to press up and away from the earth, kneeling plank position. Exhaling as we sink the hips back towards the heels for child's pose. This is one option as we move through our vinyasa flow and as we move through our sun salutations. All right, so keep this in mind. We'll go through this flow two more times, inhaling forward. Exhaling to lower down to the belly. Inhaling to lift the chest cobra. Exhaling to lower. Press down through the hands, inhale to rise, kneeling plank, and exhaling to sit back. Child's pose. One more round, inhaling forward, exhaling, lowering down. Inhale, opens the heart, exhale, lowers. Inhale, rises, pressing it away from the earth. Exhale, sits back, child's pose. Go ahead and make your way back to hands and knees. 
tucking the toes, lifting the hips for downward facing dog. And downward dog, begin to find some movement, maybe pressing one heel down to the mat at a time, bending the opposite knee, perhaps sinking your breath with that movement. So as one knee bends, maybe you inhale, and then when you switch sides, perhaps you exhale so that we're still finding that connection between movement and breath. Really dropping the weight of the head and the neck. Maybe you even move the head, yes and no. And on an inhale, coming all the way up onto the toes. On an exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips back towards the heels for a sort of lifted child's pose. Inhale to come all the way back up onto the toes. Exhale to bend the knees, sink the hips down, pressing through the hands, fingers spread wide. One more, inhale, come all the way up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips back. Shins hovered. Inhale, lift all the way up onto the toes. And exhale, just let the heels sink back down. It's okay if they don't touch. It's okay if your knees are bent. When you're ready, walking the feet towards the hands to find a forward fold at the top of your mat. Again, the knees can be as bent as they need to be here. And it's not about touching the floor, touching the toes. Inhale to lift halfway, reaching forward through the crown of the head. Flattish back, shoulder blades pinched together. Tailbone lifts. Pressing down through the feet. Maybe we even sink through the heels a little deeper. And on an exhale, forward fold. Releasing the weight of the head and the neck. Lifting the shoulders away from the ears. And maybe we sway. Finding stillness, press down through the feet, bend through the knees, inhale to circle the arms around and up to the sky. Mountain pose. And on an exhale, bringing the hands down through heart center for equal standing pose, samasthiti tahi. So every time we come back to this position, I want you to think of the mantra, I am here. Mantra means an instrument for the mind. And so it's something to keep us present. Something you can repeat to yourself in your head. A phrase can have meaning, it might not have meaning, but either way, it keeps you present. Hands come down to our sides. Inhale, circles the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, wash it away. Inhale to lift halfway, flattish back. Crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale to plant the hands. Step walker, jump the feet back to plank pose. And so this is the part where you remember the flow we did before on the knees and you have the choice of staying with that version of this or maybe you decide to challenge yourself, lifting the knees, pressing back through the heels, reaching forward through the crown of the head, shoulders stacking above the fingertips, belly button hugs the spine, activating the core in plank pose. On an exhale, bend the elbows lower down, maybe stopping halfway for chaturanga. Tops of the feet press down. Inhale, lift the heart up and through for upward facing dog. Pressing down through the hands and the tops of the feet, lifting everything else. Exhaling to tuck the toes, lift the hips for downward facing dog. Knowing that downward dog and child's pose, remember, are interchangeable. They're both resting poses. And we'll take five breaths in whichever resting pose you decide to take. Coming back to that ujjayi pranayama, that victorious breath. When you're ready, bend the knees, look between the hands. Step walker, jump the feet through, forward fold. Halfway lift when you arrive. Exhale to sink back in. 
Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Remember, I am here. And then bring the hands down to your sides. Inhale, circles the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Let it all go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step walker, jump the feet back. Plank pose, top of a push up. Bend the elbows, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, open up the heart, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. Your body, your choice. Taking five deep breaths here. And coming back to the present moment. Using our five senses to stay rooted here. Noticing the details. Adjusting your pose. And at the end of your five breaths, bend the knees between the hands. Find a forward fold. Halfway lift when we get there. Exhale, folds back in. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up, get big. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Remember, I am here. And hands come down to our sides. Inhale, lifts back, around it up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plants the hands, steps, walks or jumps the feet back, plank pose and move through your vinyasa. Vinyasa is the sequence of lowering down through chaturanga, lifting the heart for up dog and exhaling back to down dog or childs. That sequence of poses is known as a vinyasa, but vinyasa also means to place in a special way with attention to detail. So considering that as we move through our poses, as we build our flow, making every movement intentional. Anchoring down through the left foot, inhale, lifts the right leg. On an exhale, maybe you bend the right knee, stack the hips to twist open. Inhaling to straighten that right leg, squaring off the hips, pressing back through the right heel. Exhale, send that right foot all the way between the hands, finding a low lunge position. Go ahead and lower this left knee down to the earth. Maybe uncurl the left toes and inhale to lift the heart up towards the sky. If this is too intense, just slide the left knee either forward a little bit. If it's not intense enough, slide that left knee back a little bit. Exhale to surround the right foot with the hands. Pick up the left knee. Inhale to rise all the way up to crescent lunge. And remember it's called crescent lunge because our body can sort of mimic the shape of a crescent moon. We can lift through the heart and create a slight back bend if that feels okay in our body. Breathing here and then exhaling as we open it up to warrior two. Inhale to straighten this right leg, reaching straight up to the sky. On an exhale, bring the arms to a T, turning the right toes inward, exhaling, to bend into that left knee for a side lunge. For this, you might decide to have a pillow underneath your sit bones so that you don't have to worry so much about balance and you can just focus more on sinking through that left hip. Taking a breath here and then exhaling to surround the left foot with the hands. So we're facing the back of our mat now, all right? When you're ready, Let's step the right foot forward to a forward fold. Inhaling halfway. 
Exhaling to sink back in. Inhale, chair pose. So for this, we're keeping the hips low, lifting through the chest. Our weight comes to our heels. And on an exhale, sweeping the arms back, reaching forward through the crown of the head. We'll call this maybe half chair pose. I don't know, I'm just making this up. And on an inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Exhaling, hands through heart center. I am here. Hands come back down to our sides. Inhale, lifts the arms back around and up. Exhaling, forward fold, wash it away. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to plant the hands. Step walker, jump the feet back and move through your vinyasa. Know that you can always skip those vinyasas and just go to your resting pose. We'll meet in downward dog. And on an inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bends the knees, stacks the hips to twist open. If that feels good, keep an equal weight in the hands, keeping the shoulders next to one another. Inhale to lift and lengthen through that left heel. Exhale as we step it through between the hands. Lowering the right knee. Inhale, kneel and crescent. Exhale, plant the hands, framing that left foot, pick up the right knee. Inhale, crescent warrior, slight back bend. Exhale, warrior two, opening up the hips, bending through that left knee. Inhale, straightening the left knee, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, turning the left toes inward, bending through the right knee. Maybe you use a pillow underneath the sit bones. Maybe you skip it. Breathing here in side lunge. And then when you're ready, surrounding the right foot with the hands, low lunge. Step the left foot forward to meet it. Forward pull. Halfway lift. Exhale to sink back in. Sink the hips low. Inhale, lift the arms, chair. Exhale, half chair, arms reach behind us, crown of the head reaches forward. Inhale, standing all the way up. Exhale, Samastita He, hands come through heart center. Remember, I am here. Hands come down to our sides. Inhale, circles the arms back around and up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, wash it away. Inhale, lifts halfway. Exhale, plants the hands, steps, walks or jumps the feet back, plank pose, and vinyasa. Breathing here, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifts the right leg. Exhale, bends the knee, stacks the hips to twist open. Inhale, straightens the knee, squares the hips. Exhale, steps the right foot between the hands. Drop the left knee. Inhale to rise up to a kneeling crescent. Exhale to plant the hands, pick up the left knee. Inhale, crescent warrior. Rising up, pressing down through that right foot, slight back bend. Exhale, warrior two, pivot and plant the left foot. Bending through the right knee. Inhale, straightening the right knee, reaching up, turning the right toes inward. Exhale, sinking through that left knee and that left hip for a side lunge. Go ahead and surround the left foot with the hands facing the back of the mat. And this time we will add on a standing split. So lifting the right leg, maybe the heel comes in line with the hip. Maybe it stays just an inch above the mat. Either way, just doing your best and acknowledging your strength. Maybe you begin to play with warrior three, either bringing the hands to heart center or reaching them out in front of you, creating a horizontal line. And then when you're ready, wherever your arms are at, bending the right knee, curling it in to tap the back of the left knee. 
and the curtsy lunge, curtsy twist, whatever you want to call it. When you're ready, straightening that right leg, coming back to either standing split or warrior three. Exhaling to curl the right knee into the back of the left knee, bending into that left knee to create sort of a shelf. Inhaling to straighten the right knee. Exhaling to curl it in, last one. Inhaling to straighten the right knee. And then when you're ready, coming all the way through to standing, majorette pose, lifting the right knee so that this thigh is maybe horizontal, parallel to the ground. If you need to tap the foot down in between, no big deal. And then grabbing this right knee with the left hand and twisting open so the right hand reaches back behind us. If you need more sensation, you can grab the big toe of the left foot, or sorry, the right foot. And then when you're ready, releasing the twist by coming back through center, lowering the foot back down to the earth. Inhale, circles the arms up. Exhale, chair pose. Go ahead and um, reach the arms back behind you, half chair. Inhaling all the way up to standing again. Exhaling, hands come down through heart center. Remember, I am here. Hands come down to our sides. Inhale, circles the arms back around and up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips, lead with the heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step walker, jump the feet back. Move through your vinyasa, your version, whatever that means to you. On an inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bends the knees, stacks the hips, a twist open. Inhale, straightens the knees, squares off the hips. Exhale, steps through the foot between the hands. Lowers the right knee. Inhale, kneeling lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, pick up the right knee. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, come through center, straighten the left leg, turn the left toes inward. Exhale, bend through that right knee, sinking the hips low for side lunge. Surrounding the right foot with the hands. Inhale, lifts the left leg for standing split or warrior three. Exhale, curls the left knee to the back of the right knee. Two more times, inhale. Straightening the left leg. Exhale, curling the knee in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, curl. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, coming through standing. Tapping the foot down if you need to. Major at pose. Left knee is lifted. Grabbing that left knee with the right hand. Inhale. Left hand reaches back behind you, gaze follows those fingertips. Standing twist. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale to lower the left foot. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, sweep the arms behind, half chair. Inhale back through standing tall. Exhale, hands through heart center. I am here. Hands come back down to our sides. Inhale, circles the arms back around and up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, wash it away. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step walker, jump the feet back, and vinyasa. Breathing here, knowing that you can always pause the video if you need to take child's pose and rest. We'll move through this flow one more time, you guys. Inhale, lifts the right leg. Exhale, bends the knees, stacks the hips to twist open. 
Equal weight in the hands. Inhale to straighten the knees, square off the hips. Exhale, steps the right foot between the hands. Drop the left knee. Inhale, lifts the arms, opens the heart. Exhale, plants the hands, lifts the left knee. Inhale, crescent warrior, rise up strong through that front foot. Exhale, warrior two, pivot and plant the left foot. Sink in, inhale, straightening that right knee, turning the right toes inward. Exhaling as we sink down into our side lunge towards the back of the mat, bending through that left knee. Surrounding that left foot with the hands. Inhale, right leg lifts. Standing split or warrior three. Exhale to curl the right knee into the back of the left knee. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to curl. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to curl. One more, you guys. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, curl. Inhale, straighten. Come through standing, major at pose. Right knee is lifted. Grab the right knee with the left hand. Exhale, rotate through the waist. Looking over those right fingertips. Inhale through center. Exhale through standing. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Inhale here. Exhale, sweep the arms back, reach forward through the crown of the head. Hips stay low. Inhale through standing, get big and tall. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Reconnect. I am here. Hands come down to our sides. Inhale, circles the arms back, around and up. Exhale, forward fold, wash it away. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step walker, jump the feet back, and vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog or child. Leading in downward, downward facing dog. Inhale, right, or. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it between the hands. Lowering the right knee. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, plant the hands, pick up the right knee. Inhale, crescent warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten through that left knee. Turn the left toes inward. Exhale, bend through the right knee. A low side lunge. Surrounding the right foot with the hands. Inhale, lifts the left leg. Exhale, curls the left knee to the back of the right knee. Inhale, straightens the left leg. Exhale, curls it in. Inhale, straightens. Exhale, curls. Inhale, straightens. Exhale, comes through standing. Inhaling at the top, major at pose, grabbing the left knee with the right hand. Exhale, twisting open. Gazes over the left fingertips, looking back behind us. Inhale through center. Exhale, planting the left foot. Inhale, lifts the arms up. Exhale, chair pose, sinking the hips down. Inhaling here. Exhale, reach forward through the crown of the head, hands reach behind. Inhale through standing. Exhale, hands through heart center. I am here, hands come down to our sides. Inhale, circles the arms around and up. Exhale, forward fold, wash it away. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step walker, jump the feet back, plank pose, and vinyasa. Inhale, opens the heart. And on an exhale, let's all take child's pose. Breathing here. Maybe you decide to take your arms by your sides, resting one temple down. 
taking five breaths. Coming back to your intention, seeing if it has changed or needs to change. Or maybe just reestablishing the intention you already had. and come through hands and knees, a position of all fours. From here, tucking the toes, lifting the hips for downward facing dog. You can either jump through to seated, or you can just make your way there in a way that makes sense to you. If you're gonna jump through, we, we bend the knees, look between the hands, and then we kind of just jump the feet forward, sink the hips down. And then when you get there, let's plant the soles of the feet onto the mat, sitting up tall into the chest. And the hands can be wrapped around the shins, or maybe you reach forward, or maybe you reach up. We'll take boat pose. For boat pose, maybe you just start with the toes down, maybe gradually lifting the shins to become parallel-ish to the ground. But it's important that we balance on the sit bones here so that we can activate the lower part of the abdomen. Breathing here. Coming back to that notion of mindfulness, noticing all of the things that are happening in this present moment, not just the shakiness of the muscles or the sweat on our bodies, noticing those things, but also noticing everything else too. One more breath here. And then on an exhale, bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees fall to either side for butterfly pose. Bound angle pose. Inhaling here, lifting up through the chest and exhaling to walk the hands out in front of you. Maybe you use a pillow or something to rest onto. Continuing to sink movement with breath. So every inhale lifts and lengthens through the spine. Every exhale folds in a little deeper. We'll take five breaths here, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to sink back in. shoulders. Inhaling to lift the hips for reverse tabletop. In reverse tabletop, maybe lifting the right foot and reaching it straight out. Exhaling to cross the right ankle above the left knee. Exhaling to sink the hips back down. And then maybe we just roll onto our back for supine figure four. You might decide to hug the left knee in towards the body by interlacing the fingers behind the left thigh. Maybe you rock a little side to side here. Some people like to straighten this left leg. Play with it, maybe you roll the ankle and just see what works for you in this moment. Gradually, maybe hugging the knee closer in, be feeling that stretch in the hip flexor increase, still pressing the lower back against the mat. slowly begin to release that left foot down to the mat, plant the right foot down to the mat, 
And then inhale to lift the hips up towards the sky for bridge pose. Press down through the feet, grounding through the shoulders, keeping the head and neck stable. Gently rolling one vertebrae down to the mat at a time. Knees come in towards the chest. Let's rock forwards and backwards. Let's come back to seated. Press the feet down to the mat. Arms are either reaching out in front of you or straight up for boat pose. Feeling the lower abdomen activate. Belly button hugs the spine. Breathing here, finding that mindfulness. Connecting with the present moment. Finding a bit of gratitude for the abilities that our bodies have, celebrating those things. Letting go of the things that our body maybe can't do. Knowing we're exactly where we're supposed to be. When you're ready, bring the soles of the feet together for butterfly pose. Every inhale lifts and lengthens the spine. Every exhale folds back in a little deeper. Taking five breaths just to see how far we can get. It's not a competition, but just to see and explore. And maybe we learn something new about ourselves in the process. Planting the soles of the feet, planting the hands underneath the shoulders, inhaling reverse tabletop, lifts the hips, straightens the left leg out in front of us. Go ahead and cross that ankle above the right knee and then sink the hips back down to the mat. Gently lower all the way down to your back. And then maybe begin to hug this right knee and this left ankle in towards the chest. Rock a little side to side. Find any version or variation of this pose. Feel free to explore. Moving slowly and with ease. down to the mat, planting the left foot back down and we'll take bridge pose, inhaling to lift the hips up towards the sky, pressing down through the shoulders, lifting through the thighs, expanding through the chest. And exhaling as we roll one vertebrae down to the mat at a time down to our backs. Let's cross the left knee over the right knee, bringing the knees into the chest. Arms come wide into a T, then allowing the knees to fall to the right side for spinal twist. If having the legs cross is too much sensation, you can just uncross them. No big deal. And then turn the gaze to look over the right fingertips. back through center. Maybe you grab onto the ankles, just gently pulling them towards your body, down towards the earth. Maybe you hug this bundle of knees in towards the chest. And then 
go ahead and switch sides. So now the right leg crosses on top of the left leg. Arms come wide into a T and exhale, lowers the knees over to that left side. The gaze is over the right fingertips. Feeling the weight of gravity here. Just enjoying the spinal twist. Inhaling, knees come back through center. Maybe you grab the ankles and gently pull them towards the ground. Maybe you hug the knees. Breathing wherever you're at. And then when you're ready, straightening the legs, letting them release long against the mat. If you need to take any last poses before Shavasana, go ahead and do so to make your practice feel complete. Otherwise, we will take rest. Scanning the body from head to toe. Allowing every muscle to melt down into the mat. Continuing to find mindfulness. So continuing to stay present in this moment. That just means that if you notice your mind wandering either into the past or the future, onto something else, then you can come back to that mantra, I am here, or you can come back to the breath. Continue to release, letting everything go. Knowing that there's nothing left to do. All you have to do is be.
gentle movement back into the body by wiggling the fingers and toes. Moving through the wrists and ankles. Moving the head side to side. Go ahead and reaching the arms overhead. Inhale here. Opening up the mouth, exhale, side it out. Bringing the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Rocking side to side. Begin to make your way to a seated position in any way that makes sense to you. Burning down through the sit bones, sitting up tall into the spine, inhaling as we circle the arms up to the sky. Palms reach at the top, exhale, brings the hands down through heart center, bowing the chin. All for sharing this vinyasa practice with me today. The light that shines in me sees the light that shines in all of you. Where those lights meet is where we find connection, and that connection is the meaning of the word yoga. Namaste.